uh, what's it about? You might not want your parents to listen, see? John just stands outside and we're speaking. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> what's wrong? Is, is the gate Going back. Just, just so nobody hears what's going on. Just a bit more discreet for yourself. Oh, it's a lot. No. Well, if, you, if you stand there, then that's fine. No. So, we're catching online predators. Yeah. We, we look to identify online sexual predators and get them into police custody. Yeah. Um, the team that you can see here, so yours, ours, well, and I've the not been doing it, you think? You've not been doing anything, no. <coughs> Um, the team here for yours, ours and the public's protection are in no way we're going to harm you. Um, you are Jim Olmster, yes? Yeah. yeah. 41. I'll put a second, I've just got to do something. Can we you just wait? Can't, can't go back inside. Can't go back inside. Gonna have, you, have, you got, have you got your mobile device upon you? No. no. Is that why you was going back inside? No. Right. <coughs> But you can't go back inside because you could delete um, important evidence. Mm. Right, I'm going to place you under a citizen's arrest under section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. Mainly sections 4A that you're likely to injure yourself, anybody else, and 4D that you could abscond before an officer can mm. take responsibility for you. If you comply like this, we won't need to execute it. If you start to struggle or anything, then we may have to put you to the floor for your own safety and somebody else's safety. I hope we don't have to, and hope you carry on this way, we're fine. Um, do you understand what I've just told you? No. No. Under the citizen's arrest, do you understand what I've just quoted under the citizen's arrest? Yeah. That, that's all I'm asking. Um, the police have been informed and they've been on the way. Um, do you require any medical assistance? Are you okay? Well, I'm on pe uh, blood pressure on top of Blood pressure, well it's probably going to go up slightly but it's, if you feel that you need an ambulance help, tell us and we will sort an ambulance out for you as well. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just show that. It's alright, I've got it. It's okay. Okay. Um, this is being filmed, it just shows a true account of what's happening here that we're not here to harm you and we sure as we're not harming you and everything we do is correct and above board. Yeah. Um, Who's uh, responsible for this? Sorry? You're Who's responsible, responsible, Jim. You're responsible. No. Who's responsible? You, you are. are. Um, obviously you know why we're here today now because we just told you. Can you explain your recent online activity and the reasons for this? Um, Just basically, just basically, I'm gonna laugh. If you want, we can with close an the door. With an eleven-year-old child. Sure your parents don't hear this. You are having yeah. a laugh with a child of eleven. Eleven. That's not funny, Jim. Uh, can I just, before we go any further as well, this is obviously his parents' address, so if anybody recognises where we are, please don't target them. They're of an elderly generation, as you can tell by Jim's age. Nothing to do with them whatsoever. This is purely down to Jim and his own actions. So, like we said, he was having a laugh. Yeah. Right, well. No, I was not going to do. No, what you were going to do? Well, right, well, okay. No. Um, do you know the legal age of consent in the UK? No. How, the how legal old? age of consent. Yeah, how old do you have to be to have sex in the UK? 16, maybe. Right, correct. So, 16. Um, so, what are you saying about your actions? Because you know that this person wasn't 16 years of age. Yeah, I was just having a laugh. You having a laugh? You stop saying you were having a laugh. These are babies, uh, 11. No. 11. Right. The, this has been recorded and it can be used as evidence in court, so this is your chance to come clean and be honest about everything that you've done. It might go in your favour. Right. We've got some chat logs here, so I'm going to start going through some of it. On the 2nd of April 2018, at 13.07, Jim Ormston, 41, from South Shields, he sent a message um, saying hi. This, yeah. this um, that's when you first started to make friends. So it took you, and then a, a further week later, because you didn't get a response, you sent hi again. So you got a response back, hi. <coughs> and you put hi, thanks for the reply. The decoy then says hi, I'm 11 and I live in. I'm not going to reveal the place where she lives, but 
that's what she's done. You put, hi, I'm 41 and I live in Newcastle. I think I know, yeah. Yeah, you remember the conversation now, do you? No, I think no. I know who's responsible. There's a lot. There's a lot who we've, who you've been it's speaking to, not just one. There's You're a responsible, nobody else. That's, you've done this. I'm looking for a laugh. You're looking for a laugh? Oh, and destroying little babies? Right. She's told you she's 11 and you're looking for having a laugh with an 11 year old child. And that's before we've gone into any of this. And I will say now, guys, beware because some of this is very... Well, it's, it's not the sickest I've seen in my life, but it goes very much into an obscene nature, so you may want to protect your own children, especially if they're 11. So she replies, W-U-U-T, and you go, what does that mean? So she says, what are you up to? Watching adult film. It's a naughty film, the man and woman kiss each other. It's exciting. When you're older, you may understand. So you've already quoted that she's 11, and when she's older, she might understand. Um, you might be a bit young. She's not a bit young, she's a lot young. She's five years younger than the legal age of consent. So she replies, okay. And then you say, you're not too young. You might not understand adult things. She says, okay, I'm not an adult, I'm a kid. Would you say an 11 year old's a kid? Yes. Yeah, but I think you're pretty and cute. You feeling okay, Jim? No. No, do you want to sit you down any, on the stair? Do you have any health problems, Jim? I'd look for sure. Just high blood pressure. Sit, sit down sit if you down. want. We'll try not to expose the door, obviously, because it's a unique colour around here. Um, we'll do our best, but we'll try to protect you, especially your parents. We have the duty of care to protect you, whether we want to or not. But obviously your parents are innocent in this, and I don't want anything coming back on them. It's not their fault that you're doing this. Yeah, but I think you're pretty and cute. Have you ever seen a boy's willy? Why would you want to ask an 11-year-old child if she's ever seen a boy's willy? Mm-hmm. Uh, as I said, I was just having a laugh. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. You were just bored. You're, you're bored. What yeah. is funny about asking 11 year olds sexual stuff? You didn't think anyone was going to come of it? Like, I wasn't. Like you, you know, if that was a real child, you would have destroyed her for life. So, what do you mean? Nothing was going to come of it. You've already done it. And more than one. Um, do you want to see one? I'm not allowed, I'm only 11 and I'll get told off. And your reply to that is, I won't say anything. No, I thought you might have replied and said, I'm only having a laugh. <laughs> what is funny about <coughs> talking sexual to an 11 year old child? That's not funny, that's sick. Deprived. It's disgusting. Um, at this point, if anybody else has got any further information on Jim Ormston, if you can message um, a sales catching online predators, or we're doing this with silent watches as well because they've got decoys on him so you can message either page and we'll forward all the relevant details on to you when we get them from the police. So like I said, you reply with I won't say anything. So will you do stuff for me? So the decoy says, like what? And you ask her to take her clothes off. An 11 year old kid to take her clothes off. So she says, what, why? And then you I'm curious to see you. How would you be curious to see a, a naked 11 year old child and don't say for a laugh? It's your opportunity now. Why would you want to see an 11 year old child naked? I didn't. No, you did ask her. Why did you ask her then? I knew she was going to refuse. Oh. All right, so you know. Well, if you're that telepathic, then what are numbers, yeah. what are numbers on uh, next Saturday, please? Can you tell me what six numbers are coming out on lottery? Because if you're that good that you know what she's going to do, then I'd like to know how you do it. No, I don't want to take them off. Okay then, I have a go, I have to go. So straight away, because you haven't done what you told us, you told her you got to go. Two then... decoys have them and Lone Wolf was coming for them. Right, so that's another team that were already had yet and two further decoys. So how many are you talking to online at the moment that are underage? Uh, well, uh, Three, that's but I'm not talking like that. Three? Well, we've got three, and there's two more there, and another team's coming for you, so how many are you really talking we've to? We've actually got like? five. We've, we've got, got five yeah. now on you. So Plus seven. two more, and then another group who's probably got some. So how many are you really talking to online that are underage? Three. Three. <laughs> that, three. We're right. telling you. It's okay. Like, no, I, I was just, I was just going to say, my next quote was, you say you're on a mass course. I take it you're not doing very well on it then. Yeah. We've just told you, just on our team we alone, know, We know of seven. seven plus whatever wolf pack hunters have got. So how many no. are you really talking? Don't forget this can go in your favour. Uh, right now? Not right now, because you haven't got your computer with you, but no, how many... In are... the 
Over oh, the last two months, how many are you talking to underage? I think, yeah, there's been four or five, mm -hmm. maybe more. Your mass is still terrible. We, we won't do it. We know there's a lot then. So she says, decoy says, didn't you go to school? And you went, no, why would I? So she says, everyone goes to school. I will go to school if you do something for me. So she says, well, what do you want me to do? You went, sit on my lap and bounce up and down. So she replies, lol, you're a person, not a trampoline. I'm trying to get away from the subject of you being sexual with her. I can be very bouncy. You're so pretty, can I touch your bum? It would feel, oh, she says, why would you want to touch my bum? It would feel nice. Mmm. And then you send her some kissing emojis. I mean, this is an 11 year old child, why didn't you block her? Why did you continue to chat and then go sexual upon her? That's what I said, I was just on the bit fun. Next time he says a bit of fun, I'm yeah. going, I can't cope. It's not a bit of fun, though, is it? Just, but I'm are trying to be honest. Children yeah. for a laugh. For your you gratification. With children's head for a laugh. Do you think that's acceptable? Because it's not. It's sick. We have it's sick. We have children, right, that have gone through this and in life cannot get over it and commit suicide. Do you think that's acceptable? And do you think that's funny? I'll tell you what now, right? You, know what? you should know that. You're 41 you years should. of age. I'll tell you, so, I'll tell you, you something. People you groom, the real children you get to, are finished up here. It takes them a lifetime to get over it. So don't do the self-pity, because it doesn't wash. I'll it doesn't wash. I'll I don't care. I'll tell you now, right? Within the two teams that are here, Silent Watchers and ourselves, we've got real life victims who people like you have abused in the past, whether physically or mentally, still abused, either got in here or touched them or done something else. We have thousands of people message both pages. I can show I can speak for Silent Watchers on this. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not listening. We'll just stall fire a little bit while uh, Father disappears so we don't want to expose yeah, this. Well, for the right. come up over Have there. a nice day, yeah. love. <laughs> Is your mum still inside? Yeah. yeah, we'll close the door so we don't want you know. as well since you know, as, as your dad in this. <coughs> what do you think they're going to think of your behaviour? Well. Have you done this before? No, I don't. Have you done this before? Have you ever been in trouble with the police for this before? No. No. So like I was saying, we have thousands of people to our pages that are victims that somebody like yourself has interfered with when they were children. And they might be 60 or 70 years of age now, and they're still struggling on a daily basis. Some take well, their own life because they can't cope with it. Or because people like you just want a quick five minutes abusing kids mentally or physically. Some are worse than you can have a look. I don't care about blocking matter. them. You've still already done, done it. it. You've done it already. Um, so, about kissing and stuff, you say it's nice. Um, I bet you would like to maybe sit on my knee. I bet she wouldn't. She's 11. Uh, as I said, that was going to. It was. Yeah, it it doesn't already matter. has. Without right. physically touching a child, you've already abused All right. them. Alright, so n nothing has happened, yeah? So you, nothing's happened in this. Nothing physically. I'll just read the next thing out that you put. After I bet you would like to sit on my knee, it will make my willy go hard. That has happened. You've now put an erect penis of yourself into the head of a child. So it has happened. Whether you think it has or not, just for your own gratification. I don't care if you disappeared in the toilet and had five minute knuckle shuffle, I'm not bothered about that. It's this poor kid on the other end. 11 year old child for a bit of fun or a laugh. Um, so she says, well, what do you mean? Why does it go hard? When I see a pretty girl, that happens. I bet you'd rather do something else. <coughs> Sit on my lap and I'll let you play with my willy. That's an 11 year old kid you want to play with your todger. Well, not now, like. Not now, don't matter about now. You not put it back in, it's only four or five weeks back. And I bet now, up to probably a few hours ago, you were still messaging people online. So it doesn't matter that I didn't mean to do it, I've not done it for a few hours. You've still done it. And you know she's 11, she's told you umpteen times. So straight after, sit on my lap and I'll let you play with my willy, you send a picture of your erect penis. It's not mine. Who's is it? Is it something off the internet? Something off the internet. So even though it's not yours, you've still sent a child a picture of an erect penis, whether it's yours or not. And it's got pants around the ankles. 
and she says why have you sent me that it looks weird I love feeling when it gets hard um, so she, well, we had, you said they come in all shapes and sizes I wish she was in my bedroom why would you want 11 year old child in your bedroom after sending a picture of a neck penis I know who you're talking about that wouldn't happen what happened that it has happened. In my bedroom. Doesn't matter. You physically said that's what you wanted it to to happen. You wanted that to occur. I'm going to go into more chat later on, which proves it even worse. You could play with my willy. That's scared that I'm 11. It's wrong. Just imagine playing with mine. Oh, you wee from there. The more you feel it, the less scary it gets. It will be okay if you touch it. Well, no, it won't be okay if she touches it. She ain't gonna touch it because fortunately on this occasion she was a real it wasn't a real child. She was talking to an adult. But it could have been a real child because she wouldn't have a bloody clue who she was. So uh, no you won't get told off. Just imagine putting your hand down my pants. You remember sending all these? Yeah. Yeah. When you feel it, it gets all warm. And then you say, I'm looking at your profile photo and it's getting hard now. She's an 11 year old kid and you're amusing yourself getting an erection by looking at a profile picture which oh. is perfectly clean. I wasn't. It don't even go there with your bollocks. Why groom her? Then you if talk. you ain't getting off on it, why are you grooming her? Well, I was bored. You just you said bored. Oh, bored. Oh, Tell you what, you this is the worst one I've had to restrain myself on, I swear. Can you get a lady? I tell you what, if you'd have got somebody over the age of 16 years of age... As me decoy, you were still well, messaging here this morning. They're deep, there's a child going past, I've just gone all fire. It's people over 16 years of age are deemed legally to have the mindset of an adult who can make an appropriate decision whether to accept your disgusting behaviour or not. Because they're under 16 years of age, they're not deemed to have that, so it's illegal, which is what I was asking you earlier, and you said 16 for consent. Pornographic stuff is 18 years of age. So, um, why do you think there's a law? Why do you think you can't have sex with anyone under the age of 16? Or sexual communication. Excuse me. How come you won't say look at her? You now. She's speaking right. to us. Why do you think there's a law? There's a law because any being under the age of 16 is not a sexual being, they are an innocent being. They haven't decided to check who they want to be. That's why, and people like you come along, mess with their heads, so they don't know which way is up. Do you think you have the right to do that to I, anyone's kids for I've fun no because you're bored? Don't you think that you're a sick, twisted person? You are. No. You don't yes, like women, are. do you? You can you tell, Jim. Sick. Right, you also turn around then and say, you're getting hard because she's so pretty on a profile and you send her a, you send her a picture of a profile picture, what you was getting hard to. I would love to play with you, she says, I love rounders. And you put, would, would be nice to see Pretty your legs. Guys. I like Jim, looking at women's legs. Jim, there's 2.5 thousand people watching I'm you now. I'm not a Just woman, I'm you know. a kid. So you actually say sorry. And then you go on sending, say, pictures of your boobs. Um, for the, for your age, I bet they look quite good. And then you get chatting to other decoys, and yes, you, you, you ask a decoy to wee on you. When you tickle her, when you tickle her, she wees, and you said, "I like that. I'd like to see you wee. Can you wee on me?" Right, the police are here now, guys. So, do you stay there, Jim? They're just speaking to the girls first, and then they'll come speak to you. Um, you tell her where you've been, you wish she was older, that you live with your parents, we've already done that. Um, when I tickle you, you'll get wet. Tickling makes me go to the toilet. I'd love to see you wee yourself. You can do it when I tickle you, you will enjoy it. You can pee on me. And you send loads of pictures of an erect penis. You tell her about ejaculation, you send her a picture of females masturbating a, a bloke, then you send one of a bloke ejaculating, you send another one of them masturbating. You want her to sit on your lap and your knees again, it would excite you, it'll get my willy hard and big. You send a picture of an erect penis again. I'm now watching some rude adult films, I wish I, you could touch it. You're not too young at 13, this is another one. Well yes she is, a picture of an erect penis again. 
Imagine touching it excites me in ways you don't understand. Before sex, man's willing must get big and hard. It feels good. I look at your photo and it happens to me. Have you got boobs? I'd like to see them. And you're sending pictures of women with their boobs out. I'm watching adult film again. I want to do an adult film with a girl in a bath. She's pretty like you. I would love to feel your lips. It's a secret. She's stroking the man's penis. That is sperm. She does it gentle, men love it. Send pictures of kissing, more erect penises. I want you to do that. And then you're going about your dream. I dreamt that the tops of my legs were in between your legs. As you were sitting up, your hand gets close to my willy. You grabbed hold of it and moved your hand up and down while staring at me. Decoy says, why would I do that? It's rude and I'm only 13. That's my dream, who knows? But you don't, what you, you, don't, you don't even care. Cle this clearly shows you've got an interest in children and a sexual nature. Can we get this a uh, solo? Uh, just start one. Right, Jim. Everyone. I'm gonna have to speak to you. Obviously, down at the station. Um, I've yeah. just expressed that I don't want to be on any video. Yeah, that's fine. Right. It's that's not fine. problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to be on any video. Oh, we'll all go to the floor for yeah, now. That's fine. Right. Okay, yeah. is that yeah, fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, right, just we'll get you some shoes ready. and stuff like that. All right. Um, who's in your property? Mum. I just. He, right. said, he said his devices are still in the property as well, right. it's not brought well, in. He wanted to uh, go back on. in, but we said we'd rather just do it, right. so don't delete any evidence. Well, if we get um, confusing mm -hmm. that one, we'll go and uh, we'll yeah. yeah. the room. The father's oh. come out of the uh, property. Have you got the key, have you? We don't think the father knew what we were here for, so the phone should still be there. The father came out, I don't know if he's taking anything. Why will we have I wonder if, uh, shall we just go to our mum's next door and we're out of the way? If just hang on for two seconds, we'll have to get some details from everyone. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> we'll just go out here out of yeah. the way, then we don't expose any of the property. Yeah, then. Make sure you don't get any car wrenches in as well, because they're out. <laughs> Nice, and people are asking okay. if you're okay because you sound yeah. really obsessed. Don't worry. Right. She's fine, guys. Yeah. I, I do the interviewing, it's there for everybody to put a thing through. You've subjected yourself to him for months. I know, but yours, well, yours is another decoy. Yeah, I know. Um, right, guys, obviously, like I said, the police have turned up now. They're going in there, they're going to have a look, make sure they've got any of his devices. Hope the father, when he came out, hasn't done all stupid and taken them with him. Um, we'll obviously keep you updated on uh, where we go. It's uh, Northumbria Police. We're in South Shields and his name's Jim Ormston. He's 41 years of age. If anybody knows of him, please leave his property alone. Like I said, his parents are elderly. They're nothing to do with this. I'm pretty certain they're going to be shocked and horrified when they find out what an audible They're specimen elderly he is. as well. God loves them. Yeah. Um, any more information please message our page or Silent Watchers page and we'll gladly pass all the information on to you. Um, sorry for Wolfpack Hunters that we've come in today but there's a playground at the back of his property and he's got a niece that we haven't revealed the age of that he sees regular so we wanted to step this one up to make sure there was no harm done to anybody else. Any members of his family that people know please don't target them, leave them alone, let the police do what they need to do because this guy clearly has got a very warped mind, thinks he's just having a laugh when it comes to sexually abusing children. Um, that's, again, why we, we had to step this one up. Um, I said the playground at the back, massive part of it. You don't know where his bedroom is. Potentially could be looking out on that playground and mentioning that he regularly sees his niece. That poor niece, however old she is, unless she's a baby, is going to have to be interviewed and questioned some horrific stuff to see if he spent any time with her. So that's kind of us done, guys. We're still waiting about for the police, so we'll keep the live feed going in case there's anything further. And uh, thanks Try for, and get him out in his yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for all your support, and please continue sharing it. Um, there could be a lot more on this. He was obviously not willing to tell us exactly. Sorry, John, story. we've got that. It was Lone Wolf, not Wolf Pack. Sorry, Lone Wolf, sorry. Um, like I say, when, when you're on a sting, things are a bit hectic. I don't really see the screen with interviewing him, but yeah. Um, 
either way I'm not bothered any team that goes to get the predators will work with anybody um, let's just get them off the streets and protect the children I just can't believe you just kept saying fun 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 well, fun fun that's what I said that to me that's somebody with a dangerous mindset because if he sees that as fun he doesn't understand the true reality of it whereas some of these other sick ones pretend not to but they do understand it underneath it but they just don't give a shit he's selfish and doesn't understand what he's doing I'm not saying that in a learning difficulties way he just sees it as a bit of harmless fun which is to me dangerous is harmless fun next thing raping a real child excuse me no. yeah we've had people travelling in excess of three, three and a half hours today, there's another police car, I don't know if that's for us here yeah, as well. Be asked more units. Yeah. Um, just trying to kill a bit of time, so more police here now. <coughs> I don't know everybody else sat out there, I know some of the team here were disgusted by his attitude, he just, no remorse whatsoever, didn't care and it didn't selfishly he didn't think he were doing anything wrong just a bit of fun for himself but we all know that <laughs> it's disgusting thanks alan <laughs> we've we've been out guys since half five traveling up here <laughs> five o'clock for man <laughs> Where's your socks? <laughs> yeah, quite shocked when this one, I mean, to go to the extent of wanting to see a 11 year old child. Really. Someone check the chat or a message off Chris. Jay, your trainees are lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> Chris, we can't find your message. I've not exposed any property cars or anything. Yeah, it's just the last one I did. Came back and the oh, 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 well, that's the, the, the dad actually came out of the property. I hope he wasn't bringing any devices with him. Well, we don't know, but again, the cameras went away when the father came out. We closed the door as well, so no more father was in there. Quite embarrassing. Um, where you all missed? Bradford and Liverpool. And Huddersfield and, Huddersfield. and Preston. Right. <laughs> uh, we need a stint. You've done yours, haven't you? She's done statements. Done statements for all of them. One in overall statements. Oh, have we got a statement for what's gone on though this morning? No. Um, can I have a quick look? Yeah. yeah. Take one. Keep it in order. Take one. Yeah. Debbie, the from a market yeah. where I live in Liverpool. <laughs> I've only got the monsters around. aiming in heaven. Yeah. Some are not as prepared. <laughs> Again, we, we like to work with you guys. It's getting them off the street, getting into your custody. That's our aim. And then obviously it's yourself and CPS. And if we can get anything that's easier, you can get them booked in right. Which, which we've got all that. Yeah. That might up with this form. Great. We've got to live in us from that. Boom. CPS is straight on it. Yeah, let's charge him. Yeah, sure. Who's Carrie Ann? She's... Let's just... Thing in case <laughs> Just in case you're revealing anything. Now, Chris, will you send to Damien? Because I'm on my phone for the live, so I can't open it. What's that, a message? A message from Chris. What? Our Chris, yeah. On the bit, on those pages? He said it was on the page, but then he said he sent it to my... Yeah. My mum.
Naomi, we've got no admin on, I don't think. Can you tell us what that was? Molly May. What's, what message are we kind of referring? He used to volunteer at his old work. He got sacked for not doing his CRB. He may have been in contact with children then. Chris? This Molly May. Molly May. Oh, I used to volunteer work. He got sacked. Um, yeah, he, um, he got sacked on this weekend. He did volunteering, dog walking. Um, he was sacked. I don't know why he was sacked. Um, obviously, it's something we'll mention to the police and we'll make sure that they're fully aware of that. I don't know if there's anything related to this in there or whether he got sacked for something else. Um, any other um, things that he's been sacked for volunteer working, I'm not sure upon. Paula, we're in South Shields. Watching from Egypt. Hi, Nikki. Warmer here, I think. <laughs> Not as sunny, but it's warmer. JR Hunter's inbox the page, so they've got it. Thank you, guys. All helps. Police seem very cooperative as well, so let's get this dangerous guy off the streets. Uh, I'm just going to quick word Sandra, if you go onto our page and click on a video, it should give you the option to get live notifications. Sometimes to get on the video so. Yeah, if you're watching this video, it may be able to do it on there as well. Yes, we're live. Alicia, Alicia, one of our girls hasn't even been asleep. She was the lady who was quite upset. She had no sleep all night and then came straight here. The police are being great, Esme. Just informing the police of um, his volunteer work and that they need to look into it and if he's been sacked. I hope to God there's no real victims out there, but knowing this guy, horrible to say, it wouldn't surprise because it doesn't show any kind of remorse, whether it's a decoy, a real person. He wasn't bothered, it's purely down for his own sexual gratification. Very selfish. And a laugh. Well, yeah, thinking it Dead was funny. Just I mean, we get it quite a lot. I think, I don't know if it's a nervous reaction sometimes, a little bit of fun, but this guy... I don't think we've had it that this, often, This though. guy believed it was just a little bit of fun for him. Hi, Karen. Which, obviously, very hard to condone yourself um, when you get that sort of put in. Um, just a bit of fun all the time and to actually believe that's all he thought it was, but we did as best. We tried to stay professional. I hope there weren't too many foul language in there, we do as best to make the, the stings as good as we can. Um, I think this guy definitely needs some form of help. So, um, whether he gets custodial, that'll be down to the judges and CPS again. It's a good chance for this guy, I think. Um, there seems to be a lot more on him. Ah, oh, will do, Gavin. We will keep you informed as to progress on the case as much as the police inform us. Um, again, Silent Watchers, thanks again for their decoys for enduring this horrible, horrible person. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our decoys for en enduring him as well. And uh, apologies to other decoys out there that have been subjected to this vile, vile being. Um, we'll just have to make sure if they bring him out we don't get the name, but if he's still sat outside as well. Yeah, to be honest, the police seem really, really good and up on this one. They are, aren't they? They have dealt with this before. Um, nice to get a tap on the back from the police to say, well done on all the evidence and stuff that we're providing and how well it's gone. Um, again, that's what we want all the teams out there to be able to work with the police, get them off the streets easier rather than against us. Sandra, if you go onto our page and click on the live notifications, you'll get to know when the next thing is there. Scroll down to the video. Damien. If you scroll down to the video uh, on our page, it'll come up in the top corner, there'll be like a little tick. If you click on that, it'll give you live notifications. Thank 
like it. <laughs> also, I think if you um, click on the like button, it tells you notifications at the side of it, and it should automatically do it. But yeah. Maybe you've unticked that at the time. So if you can't find that, if you want followers, <laughs> and then click on followers again, it should bring up the uh, the following notification that alarms you uh, every time we go live. <laughs> Laura, I hate my accent, hate it. <laughs> Again, guys, it's appreciated when people come on board and say, do we have a GoFund page for petrol? I'm not going to say it wouldn't help. It, it, it seriously would, but we're not out there. Um, it, there's a lot of political reasons behind it. Yes, all this is funding out of his own pockets, his own time and the rewards we get when we go to court if we can't make it to court to see him sentenced and it's better than any drug gives you the goosebumps and everything you see and you couldn't see it with him but when you see the life disappear from him realize that they're in the shit yeah that's every reward you get but if they want to do go fund me for my speeding ticket and the crown call parking ticket they're fine to do that the thing is Mel, if you don't pay them you'll get a longer sentence than what i know any of these yeah that's do. the thing but again thanks for all all the appreciation guys you don't know how much it means we do get some crap there we get these idiots coming on board vigilantes you can see we're not vigilantes we could have plastered him all over his house then bloody well felt like with, with no intention just bringing his um, tower computer tower out you've got us go on your, on your left and on your right there's a oh, there's there's go on that side we're not going to get the oh, that's where don't go on that right turn you've got the next right turn in that station so you take the if we come down this side this station don't, don't get that in, don't get the number in if we can. But if he comes out with the police, they didn't want to be honest. We'll do the best we can. If, if it's going to create any hassle, the police have been fine with us. We'd like to see him coming out with his Pandora bracelets on, but if the police are adamant, like I said, we work with them, they've been brilliant with us, so I'm not going to ruffle the feathers. If they're honourable with us, I don't care, but they've been really, really good. I was just very angry because he was a Yeah. Poor Angie's the one with no sleep. God love her. Yeah. Can't really say at the moment, mate. We can't say anything. Self explanatory. If you have a word with these officers, they might say if they could say something. At the moment, I'm not going to say anything. Grace, I'll go and see now and start with them. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Martin, they're not taking the devices. <laughs> we'll leg it first. There's another tower coming out. Two towers have come out now. Maybe it's talking to a lot more than me. Yeah, five, two towers. We know of at least seven. seven to ten, possibly a lot more. I think you may need to uh, go inside and take a further mask course because this one is <laughs> working very good, is it? And again, I know people turn around afterwards and go, you shouldn't be laughing at this, but after what we go through and the stress and all the stuff we see, if we can get any bit of light-hearted relief at the end of this this is why we do it it's not mocking them it's not mocking the innocent it's not mocking people with disabilities or anything like that <laughs> we found out that last when we did the one in cardiff last week um i know it was a family member but he took it on his cell to say why would you take in the minute mickey said he was going for a steak afterwards we've been traveling for six hours nothing to eat we went out and we got a bit of dinner at a spoon yippee do So I think if we can get a steak for what we've been put through, I think we deserve it. And if we can have a little laugh to lighten the mood, we'll do it. No way do we mimic or mock anything that we do or say we know how serious it is. Mel! <coughs> well, you got a fan? got a stalker. <laughs> stalker. Dino, you're a stalker now. <laughs> you got a fan club? Yeah, he says I sound gorgeous. I'm a single. 
Uh, is she, si is she single? <laughs> is she single? <laughs> I hope to God it's not a cousin because we had the cousin last week. Mel's blushing a bit. I, I am now. Mel, have you been up some bed? <laughs> so, Demo, you've got yourself a, a little stalker through the week. I might have, I might have got a little Oh, fan yeah, club. he's got one too. Mel's now got one. <laughs> Kel's got a. One on the pictures yesterday. I have. And first. Oh, <laughs> what, what's your name? I'll, I'll, I'll stalk you. Can I do that? Is it all right? <coughs> You're not allowed near any other women. Right, here. that's my boss spoken. That's me in trouble. Christine, mm -hmm. if you just wait till the video mm -hmm. ends, as you'll be able to watch from the beginning, he is on the video. Parents, so we have to. Is he high? Um, so he's basically asking. It's not like admit what he's done wrong, but he's asking if he can move on. Uh, yeah. Just to stop going to his parents. I, was, I tend to agree with because we've, yeah. we've got to see if we'll, we'll come now as, Bye, Jim. Right, come on. Right guys, um, we're going to end it there, he's gone now in the police car, so we're just going to go because the parents are upset obviously. Um, can everybody keep sharing and any more decoys, just message our page. Yep, we're going now guys, um, job well done, arrested, let's just hope that uh, the police and CPS seem for the danger that it really is. Um, thanks again guys, uh, appreciate all your support, um, keep sharing it about like we've already said and um, let's keep going. Anybody else want anything to say before we go? No, just thanks everyone for watching. Right, cheers guys, Bye and we'll guys. see you all soon.